деструктивным культам и сектам. Известный богослов, вице-президент Международной антисектантской организации. Легендарная, интереснейшая личность, профессор Святотеихоновского богословского института, доктор философии. Профессор кафедры миссиологии Православного Свято-Тихоновского университета Александр Леонидович Дворкин. Доктор философии Александр Леонидович Дворкин. У нас в гостях Александр Дворкин. Профессор Александр Леонидович Дворкин. Alexander Dvorkin entered the Moscow State Pedagogical University in 1972. This was his first and last attempt to obtain a higher education in Russia. That was Alexander Dvorkin's start in scientific life. The student's records of the future anti-cultist and the expert of Ministry of Justice are still kept in the university's archives. Dworkin's official biography states that the reason for dismissal was his affiliation with hippie movement. The biography also contains mentions of the exhibition organized by the hippie movement on September 20, 1975. Thereafter, different authorities addressed letters to the heads of the universities and the employees, saying that hippies discredit our structure of society. Similar letter was addressed to Alexander's Dean of Faculty. That way in the fall 1975, he was dismissed from the junior year with the beliefs repugnant to the morality of a prospective Soviet teaching staff. However, the official records questions the official narrative of anticultist. The enrollment termination order is dated January 1975, whereas at the hippie exhibition took place only in September 1975. Therefore, the repressions in 1975 were so severe that people were punished even for their future actions. Sadly, for the anticultist, the true reason for his dismissal doesn't fit the official biography. I am bringing to your attention that the junior student working has skipped seven practical modern Russian classes out of nine. He also skipped six laps out of nine and attended only three lectures. He has not successfully internalized the courses in world information, phonetics, script and orthography. Uh, therefore, I cannot allow him to take examinations. He also wasn't able to submit skipped laps. Tvorkin has been skipping the classes on a regular basis. Uh, this semester he attended only seven lectures out of 27 and was late and unprepared. On December 12, he did not come to pass the exam with the group. I gave Dworkin an opportunity to recite the failed assessment three times. However, Dworkin demonstrated very poor knowledge, and I was not able to pass it. Student Dworkin was not able to translate the text. His answers to the questions were simple and contained many errors. He also did not prepare the material for an oral presentation. His vocabulary and grammar knowledge is so limited that he is not able to translate a simple text without a dictionary. The Dean of the Faculty of Russian Language and Literature appeals student working for a dismissal for indiscipline and underperformance. Tvorkin had his own reasons for such a don't-care attitude. Some of his friends were telling the following stories. Oh, 
думаю, что тот факт, что он был чистый наркоман, это известный факт. У него много, наверное, действительно друзей, которые его знали. He is he, the Fujian mock professor and the Ministry of Justice expert Alexander Dvorkin. Some people still consider Dvorkin as a professor, doctor of philosophy and an expert. The truth is that Dvorkin deliberately maintains a scientific halo around his name. Let us get all this straight in doubt. The following ranking exists in Russia. Then a person graduates from a university he receives a bachelor degree. Then he can start an academic career, prepare a scientific work, which is called dissertation or a thesis, defend it, and receive a candidate of science degree, for example, a candidate of philosophy, a candidate of historical science, and so on. It takes about two years. After five more years of academic research, he will be able to prepare a scientific dissertation which has to be authentic and contribute to science. Once defended, the candidate receives higher doctorate degree. There is a separate ranking for teaching staff. Topping up qualifications, a teacher becomes an associate professor. Later, he can become a professor. Usually those who got a higher doctorate degree can obtain a professor rank. The Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation keeps all the records about person's academic progress. Anyone can see them on request. That is the response we have received on the request. We don't have any records confirming that Alexander Dvorkin has received higher doctorate degree and the professor rank. Does Dvorkin have any scientific achievements in the field of religious studies? Did he obtain any degrees or ranks in the US, which are recognized by the Russian Federation? No. Response of the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation. We don't have any records confirming that Alexander Dvorkin has received higher doctorate degree or a professor rank. Still, Dvorkin continues to introduce himself as a religious scholar, professor or someone else. Nonsense, definitely. However, this is a reality. There is a quote explaining how Dvorkin became an expert. Different journalists called me and asked me about cults. And unexpectedly I become the expert. I understood that the expert is not the one who knows, but the one who's asked. Real scientists spend years to earn degrees and to become real experts. Yet, they see that Dworkin is just a fraud. The fact that Dworkin has no degrees was confirmed by the court. Just listen, how neatly he dodged the direct questions. I would like to ask you, what are you a specialist in what area? I am a specialist in several areas. Yes, в других областях не являетесь специалистом. Религоведение, философия, история религии, что-нибудь такое. Дело в том, что сектоведение это дисциплина, которая связана и с религоведением, и с историей религии. Ага. Имеется ли у вас документ, который подтверждает достижение государственного стандарта по специализации сектоведения? Документ, который подтверждает вашу квалификацию в этом направлении? Сектоведение, государственный стандарт по сектоведению нет, это функциональность. А, то есть нет которая, такого. Которая Понятно. Значит, специалистом в области религоведения, вот именно как государственной дисциплины, вы не являетесь, а правильно понимаю? А, я еще раз выясняю, что религоведение входит специалист Нет, я имею в виду вот именно как дисциплина, что, ну, что государство выдает специальные подтверждения, что нет человек того, достигает. Что нет такого подтверждения. Только потому, что вы являетесь секретарем. I'm sure you have noticed that Forky has to prevaricate and confuse term, hiding sect studies behind religious studies. Yet, what does the field of sect studies stand for? Does this specialty exist? The Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation has no clue about such specialty. We confirm that the speciality of sect studies is not specified in the acting list of special fields for the research scholars. Now you have a clear understanding of Alexander Dworkin's education 
a person who is an authoritative to provide judgment on the topic of religion. He is an uneducated ex-addict speculating on a phony degrees. У нас в гостях легендарная, интереснейшая личность, профессор Александр Леонидович Дворкин. Профессор Александр Леонидович. Профессор Александр. Профессор.